So glad to have you with us on this journey. Moments away, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Milwaukee Bucks. Along with Grant Hill, Chris Weber, and our reporter, Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson welcoming Emmy winner Bill Simmons. Yes, I like having the name Emmy winner Bill Simmons. It makes me sound so professional. Plus, I get to look at it on my mantle as I'm watching you on television every day. You don't put that on a chain and wear it around your neck? No, it's too big, and it's actually kind of dangerous. It's got these two pointy things that stick out, so it's, it's safe next to the TV. And now a chance to see what's coming up for the Philadelphia 76ers. On Sunday, they'll host the Boston Celtics. Then on Wednesday, they head out on the road to face the Pistons in Detroit. Let's check out Milwaukee's starting lineup. The star front court, Middleton and Giannis in at forward. Dante DiVincenzo out there with Drew Holiday. And it's Lopez in at the five. And for the 76ers, Harris and Embiid make up the front court. Ben Simmons is out there with Matisse Thibel. And it's Green in at the three. Okay, we heard last season the opinion that Giannis is more Scottie Pippen than Michael Jordan. Where do you stand on that topic, Bill? Ridiculous. First of all, nobody's like Michael Jordan. Um, second, Giannis isn't like Scottie Pippen. Like to me, Giannis is Shaq. He's 2020 Shaq. He, you look at his stats. You know, he's 29 and 12 like Shaq was. He protects the rim like Shaq did in 2000. You know, when Shaq was in shape, and he's unstoppable around the rim. And I think people's mistake when they look at Giannis is they compare him to LeBron, they compare him to Michael Jordan, and Kevin Durant, and stuff like that. And he's he's really a center. He's a center in disguise. He's seven feet tall. He's a freak athlete. He's overpowering. He's unstoppable. And if you think he plays like Kevin Durant, I don't know what to tell you. He is somebody that should be thought of the same way we thought about Shaq or Patrick Ewing or Alonzo Mourning and. Um, you know, David Robinson, he's that type of player, he's a center. So, um, you know, I don't think it's his fault that when they give him the ball 25 feet from the basket and expect him to make a play that he can't always necessarily make it. We, we would have said the same thing about Shaq. That's a shot they're always happy to get, even if he blows the finish. It's Middleton on the wing. He drops it from range. One of the purest shooters in this game. Stopping Middleton has to be a focal point for your defense. Right wing. Here's Embiid. Doesn't go that time. Now the Bucks take it the other way. First quarter, just over a minute and a half in. Middleton against Harris. Here's DiVincenzo. Offline with a three. The 76ers have gone one of three from the floor. Now here's Simmons. Pass to Embiid. Right side, Thibel. Back to Embiid. Outside for Green. From deep. And he buries his first look. Oh, look at the 
Defensive indeed. I mean, he's solid at realizing when one of his guys is uncomfortable. Outside, DiVincenzo. Here's Holiday. Three pointer. That won't go. Misses his first shot of the game. Will Bill defenders can no longer step into a shooter's landing area. The shooters have found ways to manipulate that by drifting forward and or kicking out their legs. And I hate it. I really hate it. I hate two things the most right now in basketball. I hate this, and I hate four-minute challenges where referees are deciding whether something was a blocker or a charge and slowing things down to one one-hundredth of a second. I don't know why we have these two things. And I can't believe we're rewarding guys for doing things during games that if you did during a pickup game and you just kicked your foot out into somebody, you, you probably have to be separated. But in basketball, it's considered gamesmanship now. And I, I just, I would personally make it a technical foul if they reviewed it and found that you did this intentionally or even kicked the guy out of the game just so it would stop. Please stop. Stop doing this. You've got to appreciate the lift Lopez has. He's effective at using it to stifle shoot. Simmons finds Harris outside Tybal. Down to five on the shot clock. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. <laughs> yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you have to bring much faster help than that. Now here's Middleton. Joel Embiid with the board. The Sixers trailing. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Three for three. The rebound by the Bucks. Pass to Lopez. Outside Holiday. Middleton from the outside. And it's Harris with the rebound. For Philadelphia, they've gone three of eight to get things underway. Now Simmons. DiVincenzo covering. Outside Holiday, Middleton from the outside. Another miss by Middleton. Not the most productive quarter he'll ever have. Yeah, his shot selection's been a little bit. And the 2020 draft, the first time we saw the new flat lottery odds. Bill, I know that was something you'd called for. You happy with the change? Yeah, I like that teams aren't rewarded for just throwing the season away. I still hated what the Sixers did when they threw away multiple years there. And it was the smart move because that's what the system allowed them to do. I still would like to see relegation. I know it never happened, but I wish we had a soccer system where we had a 2014 league and the bottom six teams got relegated every year. And then you had to play your way back in in the G League. I, I, I have a whole master plan. I'll spring it on to you. Maybe later this year, I'll, I'll give you my whole master plan. I think relegation is worth it. Can't wait to hear about that. Philadelphia is on one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Outside Simmons. Pass to Harris. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Outside, DiVincenzo. Now here's Lopez, pounded by Harris. Lopez passes to Anadokounmpo. Oh, they need this! And Middleton gets it to go on the assist by Anadokounmpo. Unbelievable. You talk about players who have transformed this league. Giannis is at the top of that list. Just a tremendous pass right there. Philadelphia calls timeout. Yes, the first of four meetings between the teams. They should be quite familiar with one another by the end of it. I look forward to seeing which team can dictate the style of play. I mean, that's going to set the tone for this entire series.
Simmons. To the wing, right side. Here's him beat. Oh! oh my goodness! Oh. back and fired it! Oh, what a nasty finish. Real athleticism. The bigger guy in beat really knows how to drop the hammer. Now here's Middleton. He has six. Over Green. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got rebound number five here tonight. That tells you a little something about their team. They've been able to pull in front despite his losses tonight. And Bill, when it comes to Philly fans, we've heard about how harsh and unforgiving they can be toward all sports teams. This is true. And, you know, it's one of the things we were cheated about with bubble playoff basketball last year. We had this Sixers team that was basically rolling over against the Celtics. They, they were moments where they just checked out. And you had that game three, which would have been in Philly, where I think if they had done that, we would have been treated for some of the better booing that we've heard in playoff basketball in the last 20 years. I feel cheated. I'm sure the Philly fans feel cheated, too. I, they're harsh and unforgiving, but usually for a reason. If you look, go back and you look at, you know, the, the Sixers, the, the Eagles, and the Phillies, and things like that, they've had a lot of disappointment. So, you know, when you saw the Eagles win the Super Bowl, and you looked at the huge outpour and just how, how happy they were. And by the way, how unhappy I was, but how happy they were. They are also capable of, of feeling joy. And I, I think that's the one thing that gets lost. They're usually mean for Simmons up top. Pass to Harris. Six to shoot. Embiid, a screen on Anacumpo. Here's Thibault. And the 76ers get it back. Second shot opportunity. And it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. I mean, I just love how he, he reads the play so well and gets himself in the air at the perfect moment. I mean, that was a terrific denial. So both teams making some changes here. Now here's Curry. He's guarded closely. Four on the clock. They swipe it. And the Bucks pushing it up now. And he caps off the break with a monster slam. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Oh yeah, bang, bang. An impressive sequence that has them fired up. Now here's Milton. Harris finds him deep. Back to Harris, five to shoot. Count it, good. Bill, you've built quite the media empire over the last few years. Business is booming, huh? Yeah, you know, the Ringer, we, we got bought by Spotify in 2020, and, and the whole audio thing has taken off completely we there before from it. And we're up to a lot of stuff. It's been great. It's human podcasts, website, documentaries, all kinds of things. And, uh, you know, if you're creative, there's a lot of outlets to be creative right now. Now here's Milton. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. They've now had assist on each of their last three buckets. The Bucks trail. Pass to Lopez. Here's Connaughton. Middleton with it. Back to Lopez. Ana de Kumpo with it. Over Harris. And it's Ana de Kumpo with the miss. <laughs> the way they've gotten out the rebounds has been impressive. And here's Simmons. The three from Curry. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. And now a 5-point 76ers lead. Did you see the no-look pass by Harris right there? I mean, he's a wing that knows how to move the ball. On to Kumpo, outside. To stop the run. And the jam by On to Kumpo. Now this is going to happen every time you let Giannis get to the rim. 
We've got a minute 48 left in the opening quarter. Pass to Embiid. Harris outside. Here's Embiid, covered by Lopez. The turnaround jumper. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Lopez. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. Uh, appreciate the effort, though, making his presence felt defensively. Minute 32 left to play in the first. For three, Maxi parries it from three. An excellent perimeter offense so far. Their shooters are clearly in a great rhythm. Outside Augustine. Embiid against Anadokounmpo. Over Embiid. That one off the back iron and out. That's the only way to hold him in check. He's got it inside. You gotta have a body on the right way. Pass to Maxi. Embiid with it. From the arc. It's hauled in by Connaughton. There's 49 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. To the inside. Curry with a steal. And now the Sixers on the break. Foul right off the bat. hate to pick up the first one so quick. Milwaukee shooting only 37% early. Anadokounmpo against Embiid. And the basket by Anadokounmpo. Well, you got to push Giannis further away from the defense because those are shots he's going to make in his sleep. He's deadly from eight feet to hit. The shot by Howard, no good. Credit to D for not giving up on that play. He's a tough cover down low. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Outside Augustine. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Ana de Kumpo. Down low. No luck on that one. And so the first quarter is in the books. Sixers ahead, leading by four. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Recently, on the subject of trash talking, Giannis Antetokounmpo had this to say. I like to stay locked in to the game and focus on the game and uh, let my uh, you know, play and my energy and my effort do the target for me. Yeah, different guys intimidate in different ways. Hey, when you have his length, athleticism and skill, you don't need to say a word. And for those of you just tuning in, Second quarter action is where we are. And looking at what we've seen from the Sixers, what do you guys think? Well, it's simple. When you can dominate the boards at both ends, you can control the second chance touches. They've been quicker to the ball, showing great anticipation and terrific hustle. Well, Embiid is out there with Dwight Howard. Then there's Seth Curry. Then there's Furkan Korkmaz. And it's Maxi in at the one spot. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Now here's Embiid. Six points for him. Out to the wing. Here's Korkmaz. From outside, off the mark. The Bucks shooting only 36% so far in this game. And looking at the level of physicality in the NBA, Bill, how much do you think it's changed in the last few decades? But it's transformed. I don't even think it's changed. I, I think what flew in the 80s and 90s wouldn't even come close to flying now. And I think it's really affected the guards and the perimeter guys in a positive way. You know, I, I think I still think Isaiah Thomas is the best pure point guard I ever saw. He played in an era where when he drove to the basket, you could just take him out. And, you know, I look at his stats now compared to the guys like Dame Lillard and Curry and even Chris Paul. And you're like, wow, the stats aren't nearly as good. But the degree of difficulty of that era of being a point guard and going in, there's so many more big bodies, everybody could take him down. Um, he, it affected what his stats were going to be. And I, I just think it's much easier 
as an offensive player in 2020. They, it's undeniable. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. It's hard to argue against the fact that Giannis Antetokounmpo is the game's most physical slasher. He said, quote, in the NBA, they want you to block. When you're strong and you go through contact, they don't get the foul call. But he said that flopping is not who I am. I'm just going to try and power through. Guys. Well, that's what the fans want to see, Ali. Thanks. The Bucs have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Outside Augustine. Pass to Portis. Back to Augustine. And he hits it to tie the game. Oh, looking to connect with the open man, Portis. He's got the right mentality out there. For Philadelphia, they've got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. Here's Curry. Here's Corkbox. Jacks up a three. Sinks out. Missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. Slow reaction from the D. And it cost them three. Pass to Augustine. Throws it up high. And Giannis with the jam. Oh, man. You can't lose sight of Giannis. He's showing how insane of an athlete he is with that athlete. Here's Maxi. And here's Curry for three. That one misses. He's one for three. Now, for those joining us now, we're in the second quarter, about three minutes gone by. And the Bucks championship in 1971. So they were led by Lou Alcindor, later known as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, obviously. How would you compare him to Giannis Antetokounmpo? You know, they weren't really alike at all. Other than that they played for the Bucks and they were athletic freaks. But I think the hugest difference with them is Kareem had the single most unstoppable shot ever. The sky. It was the greatest weapon anyone has ever traded to score two points. And the frustration with uh, Giannis is, even though he's getting at 29, 30 points a game, he doesn't have that one go-to move. You know, his go-to move is athleticism. It's offensive rebounding. It's alley-oops. It's him running the floor and just beating people down and being Giannis. He has not developed his version of the skyhook. I also think Kareem is the most underrated star of all time in the league and we we hear the word underrated too often but in Kareem's case you could really statistically make the case that he was the best basketball player of all time he was the best college player ever he won six MVPs he won finals MVPs 15 years apart he had the kind of longevity that was just impossible in the 70s and 80s and was this unique one-of-a-kind force so if Giannis could even be 85 percent of that he will have been one of the 15 best players ever Time called here. The 76ers decide to talk it over. Yeah, Coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. You know, that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with you. Simmons, you can't help but talk about his outside shot. Bill, you think he needs to add one, and do you think he'll do it? See, I, I think everybody dwells on this point, and I would look at it differently. I want to see him have his own team. I want to see him have a team that's in his style, much like what D'Antoni did for James Harden in Houston, where he's just like, I'm going to craft my entire offense around all the things you're good at. I think Simmons is an incredible player. I voted for him. 
votes for a third team all NBA. I voted for him for first team all defense and really thought about voting for him for defensive player of the year. I thought the stuff he was doing defensively last year was just high, high, high level. But what I really love about him is he plays so well with pace. He's so good at anything in transition, just pushing the ball, putting pressure on teams, that when you put him with Embiid, and now you're slowing it down, you gotta do the half court thing, that's not his strong suit. I wish he had met his version of Mike D'Antoni, who just unleashed him and let him loose, because I think that's his best chance. Well, that's what sets Giannis apart from some of the other superstars. Not only does it do the dirty work, but relentless motor, and that's what makes him special. Other than the freak ability. Now here's Milton. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Already missed the J after tricking the D with a nifty pass fake. Middleton passes to Anadokounmpo. Now Holiday. Back to Anadokounmpo. Pass to Portis. Green against Middleton. Banked it in off the glass. And now a four-point Bucks lead. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Simmons finds Howard. Now here's Harris. Just off the throw. Knocks down the long J. Harris has got five points. This is what the play is designed to do. Space the floor. Give Harris a look that he likes. Outside Holiday. Into the lane. Nice. Gets his second bucket. He's two for four now. They're finding ways to get the ball to the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Pass to Harris. Outside. Green. With the floater. Unable to get that one. Good D by Middleton. It's Harris with the rebound. Oh, their movement is good. They get the ball into the right hand. Now, usually, he drops those in between jumpers. Inside. Outside, Milton. Going inside. He's now one for two with that bucket. You take advantage of that kind of soft defense every time. Just give him a chance to attack the basket, and he will. Middleton against Green. Middleton passes to Portis. Back to Middleton. Portis outside. Simmons against Holiday. You gotta love how they've been crashing the holes, fighting hard for every miss. Outside Simmons. It's stolen by Holiday. Outside, DiVincenzo. Lana Kumpo. outside. Pass to DiVincenzo. Five on the clock. Driving to the basket. I don't mind it. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Drops it first. And some changes here for the Bucks. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. And it's Connaughton in for Anadokounmpo. Both shots good from the strike. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. Philadelphia has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Pass to Howard. And here's Harris. Over Middleton. And it's Harris. Back time on the assist by Howard. 
Harris has got seven points in the game. Well, I, I tell you what, Harris is a solid mid-range shooter. He feels comfortable from there. DiVincenzo on the wing. Here's Connaughton. Middleton outside. Launches it. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Well, it was just a mystery what the defense was doing there. You never want to give him that much space outside the three-point line. Simmons, the pass to Green. Harris with it. Middleton covering. Harris against Middleton. Harris' shot is good. Harris has got seven now in this quarter. Oh, with broad shoulders and solid upper body strength. Harris is lethal. Pass to Holiday. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. He's got 13. He's doing some good work from long range. I mean, he had two threes in the first quarter. Now he's got one in the second. with the ball. Here's Milton. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Middleton outside. Pass to Lopez. It's dips. You got to be aware of how it all time, especially on defense. Makes his living blocking shots. Fiber, he's checked in for the Sixers. From the inbound. That shot is off. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Harris outside. Here's Simmons. Yep, count it. Simmons has got six. It just looks so overwhelmed inside. And that's why they continue to get attacked. Simmons against Holiday. It goes. He's made three shots in six attempts. A long, wiry combo guard. Holiday can make some acrobatic finishes. Pass to Howard. Now Harris. Screen on Middleton. He buries it from three. He's improving from distance. Now that's one of the things Harris has worked on. The work is paid off. Even Chinzo with it. Let's it go from 11. Blocked! But they'll get another chance. Clock at six. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Pass to Harris. Lopez with the steal. A minute 37 left to play in the second quarter. And here's Middleton, guarded by Howard. Middleton passes to Lopez. Middleton against Howard. Howard with some nice D. It's not easy to keep him from converting those. I mean, the D has to be airtight. And thanks to our special guest, Bill Simmons, breaking it down for us as always. And I love being called a special guest. It's, when I was growing up in the 70s, love Bo, Fantasy Island, I'd always have special guests. It felt important, so I feel important right now. But you know what happened to the guests at Fantasy Island? Yeah, well, sometimes they never came back. Well, you talked to Bill, not shy of his assessments about the players and the teams of the NBA. And you're right, B.A., Bill is not shy at all. As they say, an opinion can never be wrong, but I respect that he trusts his own voice. 35 seconds left in the first half. From deep three-point range, it's all in by Connaughton. Maybe he thinks he has that type of range? Well, I don't think his coaches will agree. Not everyone has Steph Curry shooting ability. I, I'd be surprised. I, I'd be hurt if he tries another one like that. Harris against Middleton. Now here's Harris. Howard with a screen. 
Green on Middleton. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Bucks ahead. We're up by two. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks, guys. Do well. How do you evaluate your performance so far? I think defensively I'm doing pretty good. Offensively, I still got to work on a lot of stuff. But it's going well. I just got to calm down, slow down, let the game come to me, and we'll be all, all good. With patience, it'll be all good. Thanks, Joel. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. A competitive matchup for Milwaukee in the first quarter. Their biggest deficit was six points in the opening period. They had a solid second quarter to go from a deficit at the end of the first to a two-point lead at the half. And Kenny, what did you think about what we saw from Milwaukee? Well, first and foremost, you got to take care of the basketball. And that means playing with poise, making good decisions, and not giving away any possession. They did a great job of that in the first half. And over to Shaq, what did you think about Philadelphia? I think they let the game come to them, but they haven't got to the foul line. Of That's an area where they're getting beat. I like to see them press to action a little bit more. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final horn. Oh, buzzer. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. One guy who's been getting it done is Chris Middleton. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And as they can't slow him down, you know what you do? Keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. This is the right game plan. And confidence is such a huge part of success. So which coaches do you think do the best job instilling that in their players, Grant? You know, I believe that coaches that are engaged with their players understand who their players are. The coaches who've taken the time to know their players are the ones who can instill the most confidence. Part of it is just understanding who you're dealing with and what that player needs to be successful. Every player is different, and I strongly believe that the good coaches, the great coaches, understand how to connect and get the most out of the players they have. The great coaches have always been the best psychologists. On the floor for Milwaukee. Inside, we got Giannis and Lopez. Even Genzo is the two with Middleton playing the three. And it's Holiday in at the one. And he recovers it. And Harris throws it down. Milwaukee's gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. The Sixers are showing belief in their star duo of Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. But at the same time, it's been a revolving door for the surrounding pieces. J.J. Reddick, Robert Covington, Jimmy Butler, they've all come and gone. Guys, for their star talent to translate in the playoffs, perhaps some continuity would help. Agreed. Thanks, Allie. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. I mean, perfection. That's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to that shot. And with a little over a minute gone by, the second half is underway. Kupo finds Holiday. Just five on the clock. And stolen by Simmons. And check out the turnover differential. They give the ball up an extra four times. Pass to Thibel. Shot clock at six. Late clock. The Sixers need to pull it up here. Simmons, no good. The Bucks trail. And he's going for the oop here. And it's out of the Kumpo with the miss. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. Oh, I'm always surprised when it doesn't happen. I'm sure these two will have a good but not for bother later. Now here's Simmons. Six points for him. Lopez with the steal. Lana Kumpo outside. 
pass to Middleton. Now here's Holiday. Back to Middleton. Shot to win the cold streak. The shot, no good. Oh, great D that time from Harris. Simmons, the pass to Embiid. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. The Sixers again can't hit. The Bucks have gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. Pass to Holiday. Oh, great D that time from Harris. D making that layup look very uncomfortable for him. A little aggressive work down low. Holiday's been in the league for roughly a decade now. And throughout, he's been reliable and he's been consistent. Yeah, but yeah, his scoring average has gone up a little over time. But you look at almost every other category. Assist, rebound, steals, shooting percentages. You know what Holiday is going to give you year in and year out. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Back to Holiday. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. The officials were right on top of that one. Shooting two. This is the free throw. Do it on the second one. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. Here's Maxi. Rebounded by the Bucks. Portis has got four rebounds now. Now Holiday. This for the tie! Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got 11 rebounds in the game. Pass to Maxi. Out to the right wing. Here's Korkmaz. And he converts the layup. Korkmaz has got his second basket on the night. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Here's Ana Kumpo. Tries to spin move. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That went on Harris. One of the only ways to slow down Ante Dekupo is to get physical with him. But you know what? That may not work. He is so good at absorbing contact in the paint. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one at the line is good. Okay, Grant, in 1999, you joined Wilt Chamberlain and Elgin Baylor as the only players to have led their teams in points, rebounds, and assists more than once. Talk about what it feels like to be mentioned with those guys. <laughs> wow. B.A., I, I really didn't know that, so thank you for telling me. Uh, that, that is rarefied air to be in the same category and mentioned in the same breath as the great Wilt Chamberlain and Elgin Baylor. Uh, I tell you, it humbles you. You know, in 1999, uh, I just felt like I needed to get better to try to help my team become a championship-quality team. And to look back on that over 20 years later, and to know that from an individual standpoint, I was producing uh, alongside some of the greats to ever play the game. Pocket four for three. Maxi. The rebound by the Bucks. On to the Kumpo has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. There's the drive, and Antetokounmpo with the stuff. Oh, that's 
almost one. unfair. Giannis with the elite handle to get there and the power to rush off the contact. You know, B.A., it's incredible. How often do you see a player come off of an MVP season and get even better? Last year, Giannis Antetokounmpo setting career highs in his rate of scoring, rebounds, and assists. And that one misses. And Grant, maybe the most important area of growth for Giannis is his perimeter shooting. I agree, B.A. Although he's doubled his career rate of three-point attempts while making over 30%, there's obviously still room for improvement. But we all can see his confidence is growing. But once he figures that out, that's trouble for the rest of the league. Now here's Anadokounmpo. He's got 17. Hornets' shot is off. Here's Maxi. Harris outside. Eight of 14 now. He's rolling. His teammates keep getting him the ball in his favorite spot. He's done a lot for his shooters. Milwaukee has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Portis finds Ana Kumpo. Pass to Augustine for the lead. Pure from three-point range. Augustine's got five. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. We see this all too often. You have to be willing to put it. Here's Korkmaz. Embiid inside. Portis on him. Here's Korkmaz. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. And the foul called on the Milwaukee Bucks. good on that one. Howard's checked in for Harris. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Connaughton, he's checked in for Forbes. He hits the second from the line. The chance to take the lead gets away because of the miss. Milwaukee has gone only one of four from three-point land in the third quarter. Pass to Craig. The three is up. That one doesn't drop. The 76ers go the other way with it. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. Here's Curry. And so he draws the foul headed to the line to shoot a pair. Typically, around half of Curry's shots are from three. But he's really a threat from anywhere on the floor, Greg. Yeah, great point, B.A. He has a tremendous mid-range game. And we saw that from him back in college. He's really improved his shot off the dribble, too. And what you love is the confidence. This is a guy who believes everything he puts up is going in. And you know what? If I were him, I would, too. That free throw misses. And Grant, you were part of one of the most legendary eras in Duke basketball. Now, when you reflect on that time, what stands out, man? Well, B.A., those were great times indeed. And a few things, I think, stick out. First of all, it was when we really made Duke basketball what it is today. Gave us the foundation of this long-term success. Also, of course, team, the bonds, the brotherhood, the experience, the ups and the downs that we went through collectively. All of that together are the things that I like to look back on and really reflect upon during those years. Here's Maxi. The three-pointer off the mark. Pass to Augustine. And he lobs it up. Howard grabs the miss. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. Curry. The Sixers 
Sanders again can't hit. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Oh. And it's out of the cool. Oh, oh, hey, how about that? What just happened? Beyond belief. I mean, such a creative talent. And I'm not surprised to see Giannis get flashy on the finish. A savage reverse jam. That takes great body control. No question. He was making a statement right there, man. Here's Anadokounmpo. Following the score by Philadelphia. It is just a superstar doing superstar things. Anadokounmpo is lighting it up and showing the variety to his game. Now here's Curry. Pass to Maxi. Basket's good. Maxi's got five points. Milwaukee is gone. One of six from three-point range here in the third. Not the result they're looking for. Now Portis. Embiid covers. Pulls up on the wing. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Can't take Portis lightly from the mid-range. This is one of his go-to shots. Pass to Court Moss. Now Curry for the lead. Hits a three-pointer. Six points for him. We've seen five lead changes so far. Neither team able to pull away. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And here is Augustine. With the drive. On to the Kumpo for three. Sends it home from three-point land. Adana oh, Kumpo has got 11 points here in the second half. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over Portis. And again, it's Philadelphia. Making outstanding use of the mid-range there. Big man Embiid enjoys mixing this shot up in from time to time. Now here's Adana Kumpo. He's got 24. The savvy little up fake there. Fooling the D. Anacupo's got 13 points now in the quarter. And here's Curry. Six points for him. He takes it in. Pass to Embiid. Here's Howard. Shot clock at five. Here's Korkmaz. Sinks the tray. Korkmaz has got his third basket on the night right there. Moving his floor wins. How about a decent sense for when these guys are open? Outside Augustine. And he lobs it up to the rim. Oh, and Giannis hammers it in. Yes. An incredible game. This lead has been exchanged eight times. Tremendous show of will and resilience on both sides. Philadelphia calls timeout. You look Martin. at Giannis Antetokounmpo. What a contribution. There should only be one thing they're talking about in this timeout. Trying to deny him the ball in the paint before he does any more damage. contenders for this year's dunk contest no matter who ends up competing you know it's going to be a show and the best part ba every year we see something different something new 
I can't wait. And you look at Simmons. He's a long shot at this point, but you never know. Well, we'll just have to see. But I personally would love seeing him in the dunk contest. And as All-Star Weekend gets closer, we'll of course update you on how things are looking. But this year already promises plenty of standout performances. Yeah, this is going to be a dunk contest you don't want to miss. And we know Joel B knows that he's one of the best in the game. Love it when he challenges other stars and goes right at them on the floor. Embiid is a true superstar and super personality in the league. And he knocks down the first one. Grant, last season, Embiid declared himself the best player in the league. Not many echoed that statement. Yeah, B.A., most fans and pundits will disagree with Embiid. It's hard to make a case for him. But that's the mentality Embiid has to have as a superstar. So who knows? In a few years, it might be true. And Embiid drops them both. Oh, he's such a good free throw shooter. I mean, it frees him up to be as aggressive as he wants in the post. A minute 15 left in the third quarter of the game. Pass to Lopez. Back to Anadokounmpo. And the jam by Anadokounmpo! Look, when someone's open, Lopez will find him. Using his height to see over the defense. Simmons with it. Now here's Embiid. Covered by Lopez. Fade away. Embiid can't hit. Great contest of the shot. Kind of forced him to fade back more than he'd like. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Embiid against Lopez. And it's Anadokounmpo off the drive. And the shot goes. And now a three-point Bucks lead. They have no answer defensively inside. Here's Embiid, covered by Lopez. Seven-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Back to Embiid. The Sixers with another miss. And Milwaukee shooting well here in the third, hitting 50% of their shots. Now here's DiVincenzo. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Simmons with the block. We're at the end of the third quarter, and we've still got a close one. The Bucks on top. They lead by three. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Milwaukee in the lead. Harrison and Embiid make up the front court. Shake Milton out there with Ben Simmons. And it's Green in at the small forward. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Even Chinzo. They get the rebound. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for the night. Simmons, the pass to Harris. Over Holiday. No good. A bit long that time. Milwaukee shooting 44%. A pretty decent clip. Outside, DiVincenzo. Lopez finds DiVincenzo. Now Middleton. Launches a three. And it's Harris with the rebound. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Outside Simmons. To the paint. Here's an eight-footer. Embiid can't hit. Milwaukee's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Outside, DiVincenzo. Back to Lopez. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. They'll pin that foul on Danny Green. You can't fall for that. Once Lopez gets you in the air, the rest is easy. Take a break. 
Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. An effective low post score with a feathery touch. Lopez continues to prove his worth in his league. And the 76ers making a change here. Curry's checked in. And Milwaukee with a change here too. Portis has checked in. He's off on the second. And though he let one get away, he pushed this to a two-possession lead. Yeah, and you have to credit him be with how he plays. Goes right at players on both ends of the floor. Never backs down from the challenge of the rim. Pass to Embiid. Six to shoot. Shoots over Lopez. Blocked! If he was shooting even a little bit better, the story of this game would be a lot different. Middleton outside. Right side, Holiday. Over Green. And Lopez gets it to go. And the Bucks lead by six. And with Embiid, he's been on a few posters, right? But that doesn't deter him. No, Embiid brushes it off and looks to throw it down. Embiid loves having this challenge from the defense line. Oh, my! That's why we had those breakaway rings. Dude, he risked pulling the whole thing down to the floor right there. Now here's Holiday. On the take. <laughs> So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw is good. So one for two that time at the strike. The 76ers have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Simmons, the pass to Embiid. Shoots over Lopez. Tries again. Embiid can't hit. And he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots. Middleton passes to Lopez. Outside Holiday. Pass to DiVincento. Miss again. And he'll be happy with Darren Funk. He knows better than anyone else that he's still without a bucket and he won't be happy. Now here's Embiid. Shoots over Lopez. Embiid can't hit. He's disappeared this quarter. He can't get anything to try. That's not going to help him get out of the hole. Holiday drives in. Ben Simmons grabs the board. Simmons has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. The versatility of Simmons is astounding, amazing, impressive. Dunks like this are just insane. Holiday finds Portis. Pass to DiVincenzo. And here's Holiday. Middleton goes in. Green with the defensive effort. The 76ers have got two of eight shots to drop in the final quarter. Outside Simmons. Harris with it. To tie it up. Milwaukee with the rebound. DiVincenzo's got four rebounds now. To the middle. Lopez. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Green, the pass to Simmons. Now Embiid. 
Shoots over Lopez. That's good. From Embiid. On the assist by Simmons. And now just a one-point Bucks lead. And the Bucks call time here. And as we head down the stretch, these players are focused on absorbing their coach's game plan and also drinking some Gatorade so their bodies will be well hydrated for the minutes ahead. Here's DiVincenzo. Outside Holiday. And he drives in. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Bucks lead by three. Boy, I'll tell you, when Holiday shifts gears, he quickly leaves people behind. Pass to Embiid. Green with the ball. To the right side. Embiid against Lopez. Six on the shot clock. Embiid a screen on Portis. Here's Harris. The shot no good. Oh, great D that time from Portis. Now DiVincenzo. Portis with a screen on Curry. Here's DiVincenzo. Good on the baseline, Jay. Wow, he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. Here's Simmons. Outside, Green. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got his fifth rebound of the season. Holiday finds Portis. Outside, Holiday. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to go on Ben Simmons. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Off on the first. Honor to Kumpo is checked in for the Bucks. And he's good on the second. I like that he's playing with the Nets here in the second half. Didn't get to the line once in the first half. On the wing, Green. Back to Simmons. Pass to Harris. Green for three. Knocks down the triple. That gives him two three-quarters for the game. One in each half. I mean, it may add to that total for the summer. Middleton passes to Anadokounmpo. Three is up. And Middleton gets it to go on the assist from Holiday. 
Holiday's got his third assist of the night. Now here's Embiid. Harris up top. On the group covering. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Yeah, you know, nobody really considers Tobias Harris as an elite defender. But by all accounts, he's an above average one. Losing teams know that he's one of the best defenders on their team. First free throw is good. And Grant a 6'11 wingspan for Tobias Harris. That's a big bonus for him on defense. It really is. I mean, and you combine that with Harris's lateral quickness, and you can see the effect he has. Most people gloss over his defense with the eye test, but all the numbers say that he's very much a positive on that end of the floor. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. I mean, look, every year Harris looks more confident. He goes through stretches where he can dominate. Outside Holiday. Out of the Kumpo, a screen on Simmons. And Holiday powers it home. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Oh, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And I'll tell you what, this was one easy pick for sure. From the start, he looked in total control for the entire game. It's incredible to see a player outperforming everyone else on the court. has gotten one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. And here is Green. Outside Simmons. To the left wing. Pass to Green. Beyond the arc. Adekumpo grabs the board. On and Kumpo has got rebound number 11. His offense has been non-existent. It's fun for us to sit back and watch him go to work. But that's our job, not the defenses. They left it too open on that play. Now here's Curry. Green, the pass to Curry. And here's Simmons. Back to Curry. Good work defensively by DiVincenzo for Milwaukee. They've gotten 6 of 12 shots to go here in this fourth quarter. And they double up on it at Kumpo. Here's Portis. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Harris passes to Simmons. Here's Green. Takes a three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Adana Kumpo has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Middleton goes in. The shot misses. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. 
Simmons with it. Over Holiday. It's stolen by Holiday. Who poked away? Here's Simmons. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. Six foot ten Simmons. I mean, he has some insane hands. She's phenomenal out, at game force. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. for the Sixers and Milwaukee with a change here too Lopez is checked in Sixers call time here. They're behind by four. 52 seconds left in the final quarter.
Simmons, the pass to Embiid. Green up top. Outside Tybal. Just five to shoot. And now they decide to foul intentionally. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And he commits the intentional foul. Shoot two. the first one and that puts him up five and a tough break as his second attempt is no good at the line and not a moment to lose on this possession uh, again they got to get into the play fast and execute eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock Here's Embiid. Good work defensively by Lopez. And now we've got an intentional foul. At the line of the box, Bruno Lopez. At the line for two. Shooting two. Free throw is good, and that increases the lead to six. And so he drops them both, and it's a seven-point game. Jumping on the chance to up their lead at the line. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. And he buries it. And now a big trail by just four. Where was the perimeter D on that one? You have to guard against all possibilities. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Twelve seconds left in the fourth, and they need to stop the clock, so there's the foul. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. Ooh, he doesn't hit the first. That was the run they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And he ends up making the second. And that puts him up five. Pass to Green. For three, here's Harris. Laces one from three. The strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. But when it has to be these days, you need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. Good. As the first free throw misses, we'll 
we'll see if he can hit the second. And the second of two is good. And that makes it a three-point lead. And looking to even the score with a huge three. Right, let's see what they run here. This is not the time to panic. Work the offense. And so it's Milwaukee who scraped high with the win. With the late victory, they upset plenty of these hometown fans. They really should take this win to heart. When the pressure was on, they stepped up and worked twice as hard to overcome it. All right, let's go courtside to Allie LaForce with our player of the game. Allie, it's all yours. Giannis, you dominated the game offensively. What were you seeing out there? You know, I just want to thank my teammates that they put me in spot uh, to help me be successful. And we just played hard. I'm happy that we got the win. Full team went out there tonight. Thanks so much. Thanks, Ali. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. Along with Grant Hill, Chris Weber, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's presentation. We'll see you next time.